Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line, I'm doing a special collaboration with another YouTuber called Topless Baker. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey guys, I'm Topless Baker and over on my channel, you can come see me whip up this delicious chocolate Easter bunny cupcake. So come check it out. Now I want you guys to head on over to Topless Baker's channel. Links for all of his channel and social media will be in the description box below. Head on over, watch his videos. He makes some really, really cool stuff. And uh, of course, he's fun to watch as well. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. But on this episode, I'm going to be doing a speckled egg cupcake and I'm super excited to share this one with you because I absolutely love the way it looks. It's gonna be a huge crowd pleaser. There's so much fun to make, you can get the kids involved, or if you're a man child like me, you can make them yourself. Okay guys, let's get stuck into the recipe. These are the ingredients you need to make them. Okay guys, so to make these speckled egg cupcakes, start off by preheating your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. The ingredients you're going to need are some chocolate shavings, sugar, milk, baking powder, plain flour, vanilla extract, eggs, yogurt, that's Greek yogurt, some unsalted softened butter, yellow food gel, speckled eggs, so I'm using the Cadbury brand, some water, unsweetened cocoa powder, and some oil. We're gonna pop all of our dry ingredients into our mixer and mix those on low speed to help them combine well. Now, if you're doing this by hand or using a hand mixer, you can sift them in the bowl. Add your softened butter into your dry ingredients and mix those on low speed until everything is well combined. While that's mixing, you can add your milk to a large jug, along with your eggs, yogurt, vanilla extract, and whisk those until they're well combined. Add them to your dry ingredients while the mixer is on low speed. Once you've got all your wet in there, you can stop your mixer, scrape down the bowl, just to make sure there's no dry bits stuck at the bottom, and mix for a final 20 seconds. We're gonna color our butter, so add some yellow food dye. Now, I wanted it to be quite yellow, and gently fold that in until it's evenly colored. Now, you can add your yellow food dye in with your wet ingredients if you prefer, or you can do it like I am at the end. We're gonna scoop our batter into our cupcake liners, filling them up about three quarters of the way. Once you've got them all scooped and filled, pop them in the oven for 20 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean and then you can transfer them to a cooling rack to cool down completely before you frost them. We're gonna prepare our buttercream frosting by coloring it a nice minty color green. So a little bit of green food dye and some blue if you like, and mix that in until it's evenly colored. Now we're gonna go on to making our chocolate paste. So add your cocoa to a large bowl, along with your water and mix that until you get a thin runny consistency. I'm using a large round tip to frost these cupcakes in a donut swirl, starting in the center and going round, then going again on top of that. Now here comes the fun part guys, and if you've got kids involved, you might want to get some newspapers laid on the table. We're gonna dip a paintbrush into that chocolate and splatter it all over our cupcakes to make it look like speckled eggs. Once you've got it covered as much as you like, we're going to put our chocolate shavings around the side to make it look like a nest for our eggs before we pop them in the center. Now how fun do those look? And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so those were my speckled egg cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I mean, how cool do these look? They're so much fun to make. I mean, that, that flickering, it makes a huge mess. Just cover the place up and have fun making it. Uh, so you're gonna find the recipe for these on my website, thescranline.com, or I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to follow. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe button is down there. My last video is over there for you guys to watch, so click on that for more deliciousness. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scrambled Line.